Memphis do we have a beginning of this week for you? On the left, 8-0 Cobalt Streak has only lost one matchup, like one match within his races this entire year is 16-1. On the left, on the right, his opponent tonight, 8-0 Awaken Smoke. He has only lost twice within his matchups, but again, overall has not lost either. These two are atop their division right now. The Shale division is led by these two and these two alone. They are, they are literally walking away with it right now. But this is the matchup to figure out who is probably going to wind up winning the division because this is the only head-to-head -head matchup between these two in the regular season. They would have to wait until basically the conference finals and the playoffs. So that would be week 13 uh, to meet up again. And that would be if uh, whoever is in second place wins their first playoff match. So again... This may be the only time we see this this year, or this may set up a uh, trip to the finals later on as well, if this matchup stays true. So again, 8-0 Cobalt Streak, 8-0 Awaken Smoke. It's basically 16-1 versus 16-2. You could not get a better setup right now, folks. Again, these two are very, 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 very impossible to beat head-to-head. -head. Uh, they have raced before in my monthly races here, and uh, for those that are unaware, Awaken Smoke trounced. Cobalt Streak. I don't mean just beat him, he freaking trounced him. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, Wake and Smoke is no joke, folks. He didn't just like, oh, he's played everybody but Cobalt, blah, 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 blah. No, he's no joke. That dude plays, man. Like, Awaken Smoke has got skills, so trust me, this is going to be a damn good matchup, folks. Like, this will not just be, either of them will probably not walk away unless there is a huge, huge item discrepancy. But we'll have to see. But nonetheless, real quick with the rules, what we do, you can see they both use Isaac, they both have the D6 available. That is technically outlawed, and you can see they're both on a Skype call, so they started their own race. Again, good luck to both racers, and we are underway here. So again, rules-wise, let me see what item we got just in case. Ooh, D20. D20 for Cobalt Streak. Normally on his runs, that would break this game. He would break the game with that item normally. Uh, that can basically reroll keys, uh, coins, uh, I forgot what else, bombs, uh, all that good stuff basically into other such things. Again, I've seen Cobalt literally make his game crash because of that item. Uh, D the D20, perfectly okay. D6 that Awaken Smoke is holding on to can only be used on outlawed items in these races. Uh, the items you are not allowed to pick up are the Bible, Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, Ipecac, and the Shovel. Uh, so again, all of those are completely no-nos in this league. However, if you have your D6, you are allowed to re-roll them until they turn into an item not listed there. At that point, it is take it or leave it. Uh, again, so there is a lot of just kind of small stuff as far as the rules goes. Uh, then we have C. Uh, Cobalt Streak's going to be moving on to his second floor first as he's taking out his boss. Well, we can smoke out both his item room and his boss looking at him. So we'll have to see what he winds up with. But again, flying on along here already is Cobalt Streak, literally just moments into this. Wow, Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, so again, you're going to see a lot of racers replace their D6 instantly. Uh, in this case, definitely not the case for Awakened Smoke. Interesting. Is he going to keep it? No, I was going to say he's going to use it once to make sure it doesn't show back up. So he is going to take his D6 with him just in case. Was kind of curious. Uh, let's see, Cobalt's got a second item room. Oh my. Oh my, that Tech 2. Interesting. So there's a uh, relatively game-changing shot there for Cobalt Streak. This could definitely, definitely help him quite a bit. Again, if he was on the uh, the boss that Awaken Smoke is, you can see that laser would actually hit every part of uh, Larry Jr. here. So that can actually be a huge help of an item. Yeah, what do you mean, race divisions? Yeah, that's it's kind of a carry item, especially for Cobalt, because as you can see, you don't really have to worry about... Uh, aiming as much as you used to with just your tiers, so it winds up being very nice. Speaking of carry items, uh, damage up, tears up, and speed down there on the small rock for Awakened Smoke. Gets a little bit of health up as well, and he's onto his basement too. So again, both racers on the same floor here. Uh, again, though, uh, Cobalt Streak moving on to his boss. Famine here, so he'll wind up with a cube of meat out of this. And Awakened Smoke gonna quickly look to find both his item room and his boss fight. Only thing keeping it behind right now, though, these are very small floors. So, again, there is not much of an advantage right now for Cobalt Streak. Absolutely, there's a game fetch link. Uh, somewhere. If I could hit the right buttons. There you go. Uh, Spazbot should be coming up with that. There you have it. So, again, for those that don't know, game fetch is a uh, very nice way to split uh, two streams if you happen to be watching two at the same time. Uh, just be sure to mute one of them, because otherwise, uh, with these two being on Skype, you're going to hear double of everybody talking. 
Uh, so let's see, Cobalt finishing off his boss, winds up with more health, is going to spend part of it on the nail here, so he'll replace that D20. Uh, the nail will actually allow you to fly up your damage and give you a soul heart every time you use it, and I believe recharges every six rooms. So there you see it being used, Cobalt getting that one extra soul heart, his size increases, and I take that back, you can't fly, and I'm being really stupid now. I'm being stupid. And he found his item room instantaneously again, though has no key at the moment. Yeah, no such luck in that item chest either, so Cobalt will be back for that item room if he happens to cross a key. Cobalt, though, is one of the racers I know full well will actually skip item rooms. So if he comes across his boss fight first, we'll have to see. If he doesn't have a key, he may consider just skipping that item room entirely. So we'll have to see. Yeah, the, uh, the nail breaks rocks, kind of like in the aspect of, and there you go with the key as I was saying it. Uh, shoop to whoop Cobalt leaves that behind because the nail is a much better item. Shoop to whoop is basically a one-time use of Brimstone, uh, recharging every couple of rooms instead of every couple of seconds. Oh, absolutely, there will be a lot more Nino Kuni tonight, because our next race is until basically 24 hours from right now. Uh, so tomorrow night we have RTC versus Eddie Ruckus. And uh, I believe on Saturday it is Full Metal Gambit versus Chitia at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so we got plenty of time in between, so yes, much more Nino Kuni later. Ooh, and an XL floor. Yeah, I totally didn't even mention that. So an XL floor here for uh, Cobalt Streak. So again, this is definitely going to get much more interesting for him. Uh, he will have a second item room to find. He's basically got his Caves 1 and Caves 2 jammed together on him. Uh, Wake and Smoke actually going to take Telepathy for Dummies. Interesting homing shots uh, usage on that book. Wow, Cobalt actually took damage to that fly. Interesting. Didn't even see that one there until he got hit by it. Anyways, uh, so Cobalt's got a second item room. Uh, if he comes across his boss fights, he'll have back-to-back -back boss fights staring at him. Uh, so again, on the on the caves, uh, it doesn't really save you that much time per se. Uh, but we've seen it happen where somebody will wind up with a womb XL where there are no item rooms and proceed to make up a lot of time very, very quickly. All about luck about finding your rooms, though. And speaking of luck finding your rooms, Awakened Smoke coming into the Caves 1 immediately getting his item room. Uh, gets best friend out of it. Boy, he's not been getting the best of items here. Like, at all, for that matter. So the uh, the best friend is a basically a placeable bomb that will actually take every single enemy in the room and bring it over towards said bomb, and then explode after a few seconds. Yes, correct. The uh, XL floors are part of the, uh, the DLC, uh, Wrath of the Lamb. Uh, so if you don't have that installed, you'll never see a Catacombs, uh, which you can see, like, Awakened Smoke is on the same floor that Cobalt Streak is. Uh, basically, though, Awakened Smoke has got the expansion version of the floor, so he's got tougher enemies like those butt lickers uh, that he just killed. Uh, you won't see those on uh, Cobalt Streak's version because that is not the expansion version of the floor. Uh, Cobalt does have the expansion, it's just random as far as what type of floor you get. That's the beauty of this game is everything is random, from the floor layout to the room layout, uh, the items that you get, the enemies that you get in those rooms, uh, everything to that effect is all random. Uh, so again, like right now, um, again, case in point with the XL floor versus uh, Cobalt, or Awakened Smoke just being on a regular first floor. Uh, again, we got two rooms or two floors crammed together for Cobalt Streak. That just happens randomly. So it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing as far as this game goes. Like the random factor of this is just so phenomenal. Hey, what's up, mister? How you doing? And again, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys again so much for supporting everything here. Cannot say it enough. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, because we're going to have a second season that is going to be much larger than this one. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully that'll uh, work itself out well, and I won't go crazy in the process, but we'll have to see. And let's see, Cobalt going to pass on Mom's Pad. Has just found both of his boss fights as well. So again, because Cobalt came across both of his item rooms here, he went and looked in them. Uh, Cobalt, though, the, the type of racer that will actually leave items behind. All about, uh, all about timing on these races. I, that is definitely the important part here. I, there is getting a good build, but at the same time, you can actually beat this game getting absolutely zero items picked up. It's a matter of, you know, can you get there to your bosses quick enough? Can you do it without taking damage while you're in there? Uh, so Cobalt Street being a good player uh, does not need all the items every time. I know he is much more than willing to pass them up. I've seen Smoke pass up a few. Um, for example, we got a few other racers that will definitely pass up items to make up time. Uh, but then there's quite a few that, like, nope, we're getting every item we can because why would you skip them? 
So it's all about preference as far as that goes, quite honestly, but a lot of it really has to do with the time factor. And ripping through Pestilence here, Cobalt Streak's first boss is done. Ooh, I thought he'd actually get hit by that poison, but nicely picked up. There's that second piece of uh, Meat Boy for Cobalt. And saving his nail usage till this room will rip on through Fistula here, I'm sure. Oh, Cobalt definitely knows his builds. That man has put some time in on this game. Everybody in this league has, for that matter. But yeah, Cobalt is uh, just, it, hours-wise, insane. <laughs> insane how much time he's put in. Yo, what's up, Foos? How you doing tonight, man? Ooh, and yet another Devil Deal for Cobalt. So more health up as he goes into this Devil Deal, possibly to spend it. Ooh, two cat pieces. That's a little too no thanks on those. You don't really want to be spending money on your cat pieces unless you just need that third one or something. So Cobalt's going to pass on both. He doesn't want the uh, Guppy's Head for... Well, why would you replace a nail with that at this point? Uh, nonetheless, does not want Guppy's Head or Guppy's Tail. So he isn't going to bother trying to become the cat in the next four floors. He's just going to move on to his depths. And again, uh, Awaken Smoke, going to think about that item room. Probably going to think about heals more than anything. So he gets Fistula as well, but half a heart at the moment for uh, Awaken Smoke here on the right. Trying to catch up as quick as he can to Cobalt Street. Yeah, didn't have anywhere to go pick up hearts to heal either. Wow, this is going to get sketchy. I hate this fight when you're at half a heart, because all it takes is not looking at one pattern. Oh, like that. Damn it. Just like that. So like I was saying, ow, Awaken Smoke down. That it, it, When you get it split like that, when you get Fistula split up that many times, it, sooner or later something's going to wind up cornering you. I hate that fight when you're at half a heart. So nonetheless, all the way back, one of the downfalls of this game, well, and yet cool things about the game at the same point, if you wind up dying, you lose all your progress. So it'll save how many items you picked up on an overall collection. But you start back from base stats, square one, back at basement one, everything. So, ouch on that one. And yeah, Guppy and Tech 2 is a ridiculously overpowered combination. Ooh, very nice first floor. So, Spirit of the Night. Flying and Spectral Tears right off the bat for Awakened Smoke here. So, that'll be a huge help for him to get through rooms without taking damage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep, and sometimes people leave stuff behind. Uh, let's say, like, that Soul Heart that you were talking about. Um, sometimes people leave stuff like that behind. It seems like a very odd choice, right? But uh, timing-wise, sometimes, like, let's say it's all the way on the far side of the room, and in, in the case of where these two just were, um, you know, like, the, there was not very much of a differential in the lead. Uh, it can One room can make or break these races. We've seen it happen before where, let's say, even Morag died, had a 20-minute discrepancy, or, uh, uh, Eddie Ruckus, I should say. Let's do it the easy way. Uh, had a 20-minute lead on him. Uh, was basically in where Cobalt is right now, in Depths 1. And Morag wound up with a first floor blue candle and wound up catching up and beating Eddie by about five seconds. So again, there's some craziness that can happen in this. It's it's all about the randomness in this game. It really is. Uh, so if you just happen to cross your item rooms really quick, I don't count Awaken out on this one. He can easily catch up. And with the build he's got going, it could happen. Uh, by the way, Awaken also picked up the Scapular, which uh, if he gets down to half a red heart, so if he gets hit again, you'll see it happen. Uh, but it'll actually spawn a full soul heart for him. And hi, Cat. How you doing? How you doing? My cat's here, by the way. And yeah, best of three. Sorry. So during the uh, the regular season, we do best of threes uh, through the womb, too. So through Mom's heart. Uh, come playoff time, that will change. Okay, Jesus Juice. That one is actually mismarked, folks. That is actually tears up and damage up, if I'm not mistaken. So Awaken will go into yet another curse room, hoping for the best. Gets two pills. Ooh, very nice. Gets four balls of steel out of it. Very, very nice find. So three and a half soul heart gain out of that room. A <laughs> talented kitty, he really is. <laughs> you have no idea. For those that haven't seen it, my cat actually does tricks. I'm not kidding. He'll sit down, stand up, come here, and give me a high five on command. And I'm teaching him, though very slowly, but I am teaching him at this point uh, to actually uh, fetch. And it's going very slow. It's just damage? I thought it was both. Okay, fair enough. Just damage on Jesus Juice, then. Oh, my. The third Devil Deal for Cobalt. It's, wow. Brimstone going to Depths 2 for Cobalt in a Devil Deal. His third Devil Deal still hasn't found Krampus, by the way. No Krampus yet. So there's that Tech 2 slash uh, Brimstone combination. As you're charging Brimstone, you still get Tech 2, ladies and gents. So, yeah, you want to talk about a disgustingly overpowered combination again? Brimstone and Tech 2. 
there is another beautiful one for you. So again, Cobalt knowing what he's doing. Had Tech 2 before Brimstone there. Picked it up in that order. And look at this combo, folks. Look at this combo. We can actually do that for you, Nemo. I uh, got a video up on YouTube. And then uh, we're going to be doing a 24-hour, uh, basically like AMA slash... Um, uh, slash fast cam type of thing for my uh, 15,000 follower celebration. I don't know exactly when yet, but uh, he will definitely do his tricks more than once during that time. Without question. So I, I will make sure that that is done live. Hey, what's up, Popcorn? How you doing? And again, good to see everybody here tonight. So again, if you're wondering why there's a huge discrepancy between where the two are, uh, you missed Awaken Smoke taking a death on uh, his, uh, I believe it was Caves 1. Uh, or Caves 2, I'm sorry. Uh, see up there. Uh, that's why he is reset back to where he is. Uh, at the moment, we've got Cobalt Streak working with the Nail, Brimstone, and Tech 2 on the left in the lead. Uh, again, we race down through the Womb 2. Uh, we do a best of three. As you can see, it's 0-0 zero to zero right now. Uh, so we're still in the first heat, so there is plenty of time to go here. And I do mean plenty of time to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yes, there will absolutely be the uh, the, the celebration for that was a uh, 24-hour spaz cam ama slash where we gotta have a video game of some sort uh so it's gonna be a little in the background not much happening but a little bit in the background of uh final fantasy 10 or 10 2 or both throughout the span of the day and then bayonetta i guess at some point just because people wanted that too uh but it's basically going to be riku's hindsight cam the entire time as well so yeah that that was voted and Cobalt already, because he uh, he used a uh, world card, uh, knows exactly what to look for on his map here. He's going to... Ooh, that was close. So he's going to grab that other Soul Heart and rip on through to his first boss. Or his, uh, his first boss. <laughs> he doesn't have an XL floor. There's one boss on this floor. Anywho, uh, so he gets his mom fight, is what I was attempting to say there, and completely screwed it up. Uh, but again, uh, saved his... Uh, whoa, what stopped his shot that time? That was weird. His technology shot stopped in the dead center of the room like it got blocked by something. I'm trying to figure out what that was. Anyways, uh, but ripping on through his mom fight here. That Tech 2 and Brimstone combination is brutal. That is a brutally beautiful combination. I freaking love that. I have not seen that combo in a long time either. Yep, and Brimstone for Smoke, let alone he can fly as well, so keep that in mind. The first item that Smoke picked up was uh, Spirit of the Night. So he's got Spectral Tears, which is a moot point. Uh, he'd have that anyways with Brimstone, but he can also fly. So again, at that one heart, though, eh, kind of risky, but he's got to do what he's got to do to make up his time here, because he is quite a few floors behind, and he knows it. Yeah, it's all... Think about it this way, Ducat. It's all pixels anyway, so one way or the other, it's it's all basically just that, like, man, what the hell's wrong with you portion of, of that. One way or the other, there's no good way to look at it. You know what I mean? So one way or the other, like, it, it's not real. One way or the other, you know what I mean? Oh, there's that loading screen error. Let's see what type of floor Cobalt winds up with here. He may get an XL floor on his womb. Lo and behold, there you have it, folks. So Cobalt Streak not only ripping it up on his own here with a huge amount of soul hearts thanks to that nail that he picked up very early on, but also getting an XL floor here. So all that you're looking for in the womb on these races are the two boss fights. And being that he has the womb 1 and womb 2 combined together, if he comes across his boss fight... That's back-to-back -back boss fights, the second of which being the one that finishes off our races here. So Cobalt can very, very quickly finish this off and take a one to nothing lead. Hey, what's up, Bistro? How you doing tonight? Oh, speaking of that blue candle, what, 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 what was I saying about comebacks and a blue candle? Uh, Cobalt Streak needs four cents. <laughs> he will, er, oh, Jesus Christ. Awaken Smoke, my God, why am I screwing people's names up tonight? Awaken Smoke needs four cents. Wow, I was looking at Cobalt's name while I was talking about Awaken. That's a huge mistake. Never do that. <laughs> like, well, shit, now we need four cents. <laughs> uh, not 100% sure yet, Kill. Uh, basically, because of the... Oh, do you need a link for uh, uh, both channels? Let me get that going for you. Uh, game fetch link coming up. That'll get you into both channels. Uh, that 24-hour stream, no idea yet, quite honestly. Wow, double book of sins. That's, that's an evil... Uh, that's just an evil first library where you get two of the same book. That isn't cool. Anyways, he's going to take that with. As you can see, every couple of rooms that'll spawn one item for him, basically. <clears throat> Excuse me. No problem. Sorry about the uh, delay on that one. Yeah, 11 coins. He's so close. Make it 12. But he's so close. He's just looking at that candle like, you trolling bastard. <laughs> Awaken wants that so bad, I can guarantee. 
Again, Cobalt flying through his Loom XL here. Uh, has yet another direction he can go. I'm betting, actually, that it's to the left. I bet his boss rooms are over to his left. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah, do it tomorrow. I can't. There's races tomorrow. So, that money. That money. That's why Cobalt took the... Or, Jesus. I'm doing it again. I'm looking at Cobalt's name and talking about Awaken stream. Anyways, uh, Awaken Smoke. My god. The whole reason he took the Book of Sins was just in case he would have come across more money out of that. However, did find enough money so that he got his candle. And you can see how useful this is. As it's already recharged. So, candle and brimstone. You have to be a little bit careful with this, though. You can actually botch your entire brimstone charge because of the candle. Uh, basically, you can see Cobalt... Or, god, did it again! Uh, Awaken... Gotta stop doing this. Awaken Smoke uh, is using his candle here before he has any charge going on Brimstone. It's the dual Brimstones that's messing with me, guys. I swear that's what's doing it. They look so similar. Anyways, um, so as you can see, uh, Awaken Smoke. I can do this correctly. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. Uh, is using his charge on his candle first and then building up his charge on his uh, on his Brimstone while he waits for the candle to come back. The reasoning for that is if you have, let's say, a full charge right now, like right as you're about to release Brimstone, and then you hit Spacebar and use your blue candle, you lose all charge on your Brimstone. So you have to be very careful about the order you use them in. All right, stop, you're drunk. Oh, wait, you're already home. Oh, you're drunk. <laughs> oh, everybody takes time to gamble. You'd be really surprised. You'd be really surprised. Like, uh, what was it, uh, last week's race with Chatea? Yeah, it was last week's. Uh, Chatea spent, god, probably a good five minutes gambling on both of her runs and still won them. So she still won uh, last week and proceeded to gamble the entire time. <laughs> so believe me, it doesn't stop people. Yeah, go spit a yo-yo. <laughs> What's up, T? How you doing? <laughs> What's up, Magic? One of our other racers, by the way. Yeah, go drunk, Crumpster home. <laughs> Yeah, good to see you, Red. Good to see you, man. Yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> That's why I love you guys. So, Cobalt using his bombs to his advantage, like I was saying. I picked where his boss fight was, I'd like to point out. By the way, where is Ataka with the, oh my god, curved horn? Because I didn't even call that before. Wow. Okay, I was going to say, what's he going back for? But he was going back for those bombs. That would explain it. Wow, that's a dead end. What? Where the hell is his boss fight, then? What else connects that I haven't paid attention to? Wow, okay, that's a bizarre XL floor map for Cobalt Streak. Where the heck is his boss fights? That's bizarre. Sis, how you doing? How you doing, Minoko? Yeah, ha, Krups was wrong. <laughs> right as I said it too, like, yeah, it's so right over here is way, well, never mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up now, that's not where his boss fight is. I have no idea what I'm talking about, and I said nothing. Totally didn't say a thing. Nope, nope. So yeah, it's going to wind up... Prob no, he's, he's been to that bottom left room. I'm positive Cobalt's been in that bottom left room. So it's got to be up top here somewhere. Ah, it's going to connect off of here. Okay. I didn't figure it would keep going up here because of the arcade being there, but there you go. It's going to skip a spot over there, and it's probably going to connect up top here. Wow. Strange floor. Very strange floor. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure Cobalt was already there. Or maybe it's not. What? What is going on with this map? It's, uh, maybe he hasn't been in that room. I swear he was. I Cobalt's not the type to pass over a room like that. That's why I figured he... I swear, and I swear he was in the first place, but... Huh, weird. So maybe it's got to be up here. Where else is this going to connect? So... There we go. I was going to say, with only so many places left to go, Cobalt's got to be theoretically in the right spot now? Now he is. All right, so he's going to have back-to-back -back boss fights here. My god, yeah, welcome to the Womb XL, where you know nothing of what's going on. Ooh, Hierophant card for Awakened Smoke, so two more Soul Hearts there. And he's blazing on through, so he'll be on the depths. But again, Cobalt Streak has two boss fights left to go here. So first being Conquest, thankfully he's ripping through it at pretty breakneck speed, because I do not like this fight. Nobody likes this fight. But here's what you do. You stand as close as you can to the wall, furthest away from him. You wind up having the most time to actually get away. Those are just random. Excuse me, sorry about that. Anyways, those uh, those light shots are just random as hell. So there is Conquest down, and Cobalt's moving on to his mom's heart fight. So again, you can see him taking out the eyeballs first, then using his space use item. Again, do the same, folks. 
learn by watching Cobalt. I learned by watching you, okay? No, um, literally though, do that in the uh, first place. Those eyes won't shoot you that way. If you use your spacebar item, the second you get in the room, you're gonna get shot by those laser eyes. It is almost guaranteed. Uh, so make sure you take those out first, then use your space use item. Hey, oh, what's up, Niles? So again, this is where we race to in the league. Uh, again, this is the uh, the first race of a best of three tonight. So Cobalt Streak looking to take himself a one to nothing lead here. Uh, we can smoke flying on through on this catch up. Uh, keep in mind he died on his caves one last time, so he's already on depths one again. But gonna be possibly too little, too late here. Even though it's dueling brimstones, uh, Cobalt's along with Tech two, let alone that nail for the uh, damage up and soul hearts that he's been getting the entire run. Slightly too much. And without the nail, there were way less hearts for Cobalt, and he would have had to take things a lot more seriously here. But this is going to do it for him. As you can see, he's just keeping that uh, Brimstone charge sitting there waiting for the enemies, taking him out like a boss. And ladies and gentlemen, a quick one to nothing lead as Cobalt has about a 25-minute run or so. So again, very, very nicely done, and Cobalt Streak has taken the first of a best of three here tonight and has a one to nothing lead. So again, very nicely done. Uh, Waken Smoke obviously with a huge comeback there. Got himself back to depths one very quickly. So again, very nicely done by Awaken as well. But Cobalt Streak with that one to nothing lead right now. So again, a best of three. Cobalt Streak is going to look to take this night two to nothing if he can win the next one. So we are going to reset both racers really quickly here to basement one. Uh, give me a really quick minute in between as well, guys, if you would. I'm going to uh, run two really quick ads just so that I can feed the cat and all that good stuff. So, again, thank you for the support on that stuff. I really cannot say it enough, guys. But, again, congrats to Cobalt Streak on that first one. As you can see, that's a... Wow, that's an odd save file that you loaded up. <laughs> Weird. Anyways, he's 525-2 and two on that save file. Man knows what he's doing. Anywho, uh, so like I said, give us a uh, real quick minute here, guys. We'll be right back after uh, we've reset both of them, and uh, we will get going with round two. Oh. Oh, that's why I went black. First immortality, then the bitches. <laughs> Aw, yeah. So again, add time real quick, guys. We'll be right back with you. I'll get all the links going in chat for you. <laughs> Alrighty, we are all cleared up. So there's the uh, the picture. Uh, <laughs> God, I love that. I freaking love that dolphin. God, Carius. <laughs> oh, I love it. That 100 no Judas. Yeah, Cobalt's done some crazy stuff in this one. So yeah, he's going through his pictures over here. I freaking love that. That that one picture. So random bombs in the center of the room caused that dolphin picture of bomb residue on the floor that Cobalt just showed. That was random. That was not him setting that up. That was one of those beautiful random things about this game and why you just have to love it. Just the complete, complete randomness that can be. Like, that's why you just have to adore this game. Just the strangest things happen. No, I don't get... I, I'm saying for Cobalt to make money. I don't get ad revenue for showing their ads. No, that only helps Cobalt, but I'm watching his ads because I'm recapturing streams. So that's just proof right there. I don't ad block people. Like, I, I've never had it, quite honestly. But um, basically, like, I, I support all the streamers here because, I mean, why would I not? Ah, oh, it's that mask. It's getting serious time. We're getting serious, folks. Visor to Awaken Smoke over here. Needs to turn his game up a little bit, so he's brought his mask out. And he's looking to tie this one up because, as you can see at the score at the bottom, Awaken, or Awaken Smoke is trailing at the moment. Cobalt Streak won the first matchup here in this best of three. So he is up one to nothing. 
So again, Awakened Smoke needs to win this to get himself even. Yeah, he's going to go Bankai on this, folks. So again, uh, these two are just about to start up round two. Uh, Cobalt Streak leads it one to nothing. As you can see, we race down through the womb too. Uh, so the first person to take out the uh, mom's heart gets a point. Again, we also have a Magic D250 roll that I need to point out because the first race of the year, uh, Magic accidentally on the womb two teleported into an I am error room. Uh, that basically gives you a skip on down through that floor to the next one. So it took him to shale. Um, if that happens to anybody, uh, and you skip over the mom's hard fight, you have to get a mom kill registered on your game. Uh, so basically that would involve killing the next floor. Uh, so if that happens, you would have to kill Satan at that point to win. Uh, but only you, not your opponent. It's not their fault that you did that. So they still have to race to Loom 2, but you would have to go to that next floor and kill off, uh, uh, Shale. Again, same thing, if you teleported past that somehow, it would reset Shale on you. So at that point, you'd be killing the devil. Um, but again, that was our first race of the year, <laughs> and Magic proceeded to just completely do that to himself. Uh, I think it's just Magic, not Magic D250. I think it's just Magic on that one. I think. Don't quote me, though. Anyways, round two, get hype, just like Hubble says, because it is going to be on momentarily. These guys are good to go whenever they are ready. They're on a Skype call themselves. Uh, so again, let me get you the, uh, the game fetch link here to get you into both of their channels. And if you would uh, hit that up even for a brief second to get them both a page view, I would so much appreciate that. Uh, or Spazbot just said, nope, one of the two. Uh, there we go. So we're just catching up now. There's the two links. All right, so the uh, the Game Fetch link will get you into both of their channels. And good luck, guys. As you can see, Cobalt Streak just took off. Uh, again, being that they are on a Skype call, this is actually... Okay, I was going to say, they took off at the same time. But because I'm watching two streams, you can see the delay between the two of them. Which reminds me, am I watching Cobalt on 720? Yes, I am. Okay. Ooh, Sacrificial Dagger right off the bat for Cobalt Streak. So a very nice orbital. Uh, Guppy's Paw right off the bat for Awaken Smoke. Um, wow, and for Cobalt as well. My goodness. This is going to be an interesting side-by-side -side run where both of the same things happen, isn't it? Okay, Wooden Spoon instead of Sacrificial Dagger. So speed up for Awaken Smoke. Sacrificial Dagger is uh, for Cobalt Streak on the left. As you can see, it's floating around him. Uh, that'll do damage. It won't block shots, but it'll do damage to anything that gets close to it. Uh, so the Guppy's Paw that both of them have will actually exchange a red heart container for three blue hearts. Uh, they are not heart containers, though. They are just like Minecraft armor. Once they're gone, they're gone. So keep that in mind. Yeah, dual cat runs, it could happen. It could very well happen. So there's some range up for Cobalt Streak, and he'll move on to his basement too first. Yeah, speed's always a good thing. You can never argue that. Yeah, the difference between uh, Westall, the easy way to tell the difference. Uh, Sacrificial Dagger is pointing downwards and has blood on it. Uh, Mom's Knife points upwards and has no blood. So that's how you can tell the difference. That's how you can tell the difference between it. Or the easy way, at least, I should say. Yeah, again, there, there's admins in here. Think about what you post, guys. <laughs> Just gonna point that out. Just just think about what you post. And good night, Champion Famine. Yeah, there you can see. So uh, Champion Famine getting rocked by Awakened Smoke. Wow, a loading screen on that. And again, welcome to the not Binding of Isaac soundtrack playing in the background. I put this in the soundtrack or in the uh, in the playlist this time because I got sick of it putting itself in the playlist. So now it actually exists in my playlist. So this shouldn't be a shock to anyone anymore. <laughs> it does exist in the playlist now. This song wanted to be in here apparently. So we just gave up and let it be, because it's good. So for those who don't know, this is the Hotline Miami soundtrack playing right now. So no, this is not Isaac. But we're dealing with it because it wanted to be in the, in the playlist and it never leaves, so. Yeah, right, one way or the other, eh, just pick it up anyways. Uh, it's mod only commands and even so it doesn't matter. Because that wouldn't be one of them anyways. Ugh, Abel, wow, and he actually picked it up. Cobalt actually picked up Abel. Since when is this the case? I've not seen him do that in a long time. Interesting. All right. Cobalt usually just says, screw that thing, and just leaves it behind. That's very interesting. So let's see what uh, Awaken gets. Ooh. We've seen, uh, we've actually seen this use itself quite well. We're going to have to see. There you go, case in point. Notice that Awakened Smoke just used Kamikaze and took no damage. 
excuse me, so like I was saying, you can actually see... Oh, excuse me again, sorry. Kamikaze is, like it says, it's supposed to basically damage you for a bomb use. You can actually, if you're hugging a wall, take no damage when you use that. Um, most people found that out the uh, the last monthly races here when Skullcrusher709 actually did that. And people were asking, like, how does he not take damage? If you're hugging a wall with it, it never does damage to you. Speaking of Skullcrusher, there's the man himself. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, he was the one that basically showed most people. I thought everybody knew that. I just, I never like doing it, so I never take it. But yeah, he showed most people that were very, very surprised by finding that out. Yeah, Taku. Yeah, when I was racing. <laughs> well, it, it can be overpowered. Don't misunderstand me. I mean, Kamikaze does work out very well as far as that goes. The issue is, and you're going to see why Awaken at the moment is keeping his guppy's paw. Watch this. So he was hoping for a blood bag. Didn't find one. Let's see if he gets any heals out of it first. Good enough. I was going to say, he may actually use that Guppy's Paw right here and take his uh, blue hearts instead of red hearts. Again, this is going to be kind of an interesting one. Uh, basically, the red heart containers are like Zelda. Uh, the blue hearts are like Minecraft armor, though. Uh, once they're gone, they're gone. So it's kind of a risk. If you're willing to give up those red heart containers for a couple of soul hearts, you may wind up with, you know, uh, basically Smoke could get himself six more soul hearts here. So he could wind up with eight health instead of the four and a half that he has if you were to use his uh, Guppy's Paw completely. So again, it's it's kind of a it's a crapshoot one because again, if you lose those hearts, they're gone. I figure it's the best way to describe them. Like, how else would you really do it? You know, Minecraft armor works. Yeah, Smoke's getting like all these champion levels of bosses with like all this extra health. So this is taking him quite a bit of extra time here. And as you can see, Cobalt's ripping through. He's got to get another XL floor. Um, even though it doesn't say XL, uh, he's actually got yet another Caves XL floor here. Uh, you can tell because it's got four rooms basically side by side that aren't any type of special rooms. So Cobalt again with those XL floors. Again, we'll have to see if he comes across his item rooms, if he comes across... Ooh, jeez. Really, and it's greed in his one store on this floor. Ouch. So apparently uh, there won't be much money being spent by Cobalt Streak. <laughs> No, I don't play Minecraft. <laughs> uh, lipstick is range up. Anything uh, mom item like that. Uh, so mom's lipstick, mom's underwear, mom's... Oh shoot, what's the other one? Um, oh, I forgot the other one now. Uh, the heels. Uh, any of those will give you range up. What's up, Ramsa? How you doing? But if it's, let's say, mom's contact, obviously different. Uh, mom's eye is different. Um... For example, but like if it's the you know like the clothing type of stuff and the the lipstick, it's all range. And thank you guys. Yeah, it, it took me a second or two there. Like, what's the other one? I can see them. They're those red things on your feet. Um, the couldn't think of the word for it, but yeah, heels. That's what we're looking for. That's what we were looking for. Oh wow. Okay, so. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. So Abel got a kill against Carrying Queen. I could totally see that happening, too. But that explains why Cobalt picks that up now. Okay, fair enough. So Carrying Queen is a real pain in the butt boss to fight. Which I, I know is a lot of people's least favorites, and I know Cobalt hates it. Um, but apparently that's... Uh, Abel's actually, and I can see how, with uh, the opposite shooting, has gotten a kill on, uh, on Carrying Queen for Cobalt. So I guess that does make a lot of sense, actually. So that's why Cobalt picks that up now. So interesting, interesting. All about one boss fight. See, I don't know for me if it would be worth it. Like, I would get so many bombs shot around that I don't know that for me, even with that, that it'd be worth it. No, I said panties. I didn't say underwear. I said panties, though. Still the same thing. It's just semantics as far as what you call them. Oh, yeah, green bloat. Ugh. Least favorite boss. <laughs> Mostly because I walk in the room and instantly just get, like, trounced with poison shots. Like, every time. Green Bloat hates me. It could help for the mask, too, quite a bit, quite honestly. I tend to bomb the mask for the most part. If I have the bombs, obviously. If you get screwed over into getting that fight with no bombs, you're just, you're hosed, in my personal opinion. Like, for me, it takes so long otherwise. Yeah, those poison shots. Not, not a bro. Uh, will Kamikaze open doors? Yes, it will. Yes, it will, Zale. Oh, and I saw your question, by the way. I don't have tickets at all, so I, I'm not planning on going to the Coheed concert, but 
you never know. That might change when we get a little bit closer. I may just break down and get tickets, so we'll see. We'll have to see, but it's all about if I have money and a way to get there in the first place, too. So, But no, I'm not planning. Much as I would like to, not planning on it yet. So once again, yet another horseman here. Wow, a <laughs> dueling horseman, and of course, I think Smoke's got a... No, he doesn't have a champion version. Never mind, it looked lighter. So again, dueling here, <laughs> let alone dueling XL floors for that matter. Interesting, so we're about to really see where this timing comes into play. So again, Awakened Smoke, also with an XL floor, which I paid no attention to because I didn't see it on his mini-map. And it doesn't say it, so now I know. Uh, Awakened Smoke's got an XL floor staring him in the face here. So we, Awakened does have two item rooms here to find, and does have one more boss to kill on this floor. Um, much the same as Cobalt Streak has. Again, Cobalt's only found the one item room, and appears like he's probably going to pass on the second. Now the question becomes, will Awaken pass on both of them to keep himself uh, time-wise even up with uh, Cobalt Streak right now? Because that will definitely, definitely play a part in this. This could get interesting. So again, it's going to kind of weaken Awaken Smoke's build, but will he be willing to take that? Yeah, both fighting the same boss. It's both of their first boss in an XL floor. So now Awaken gets, uh, or uh, Cobalt Streak rather gets hollow on the left. So that's his second boss. Ooh, just misses with the bomb. Just missed on that timing. Again, though, with that sacrificial dagger, can walk relatively close just like that. Perfect timing on that one. Uh, Cat of Nine Tails, that's a uh, shot speed increase. We call it the Cat of Nine Fails. Wow, Cobalt's going to go back for the other item room. Interesting. Did not figure that would be the case. I figured Cobalt would be just passing on this. Interesting. Yeah, they're both 8-0 right now. So this is the uh, the last battle of the undefeateds. These are the last two undefeateds in the league. So last two times any undefeateds can meet up. So right now uh, they're both in the same division. Uh, basically, whoever wins this is going to wind up taking that division lead and probably winning the division, unless there's some other uh, loss in the line. But even so, like the, uh, Cobalt would have to lose his last two matchups at that point, or uh, if he wins, uh, same for Awaken for that matter. Um, and Cobalt, I believe, has got a bye week still coming up. Let me make sure. I think he does. Yep. So next week for Cobalt Streak is actually a guaranteed win. Uh, so Cobalt would have to lose. He'd have to win. It'd be impossible. Uh, if Cobalt wins, he actually wins the division. I take that back. So if Cobalt wins this, he actually wins the division outright. If I'm doing my math correctly. Uh, Wake and Smoke needs basically to win to have a chance to actually win the division. That's wow. Didn't even realize that was the case. My goodness. So there's a lot on the line here. Dang. Didn't realize that was the math on this. Whew. All right. Interesting times. So case in point, uh, yeah, this could get closed. Well, that division could basically get closed out tonight. Not all the playoff spots in there, though. We take the top three from each division are going to move on to the playoffs. So very nice. Awaken Smoke taking out that second boss and gets the Devil Deal out of it. Ooh. The Pact and Brimstone. Ooh, my. How is he going to work this combination of things to buy? He's going to take the Pact and use up that last red heart that he's got and give himself nothing but soul hearts. Uh, and he's also going to go back for his item rooms, it looks like. All right, so Awaken Smoke going to go... Uh, maybe not. I spoke too soon. Awaken Smoke's going to move on and take himself the... Uh, ooh, interesting. Take himself a somewhat early lead here and instantly finds his Depths 1 item room, so that worked out beautifully. But figures that he got enough out of that pact where he's going to skip two item rooms there on the caves. So again, uh, chocolate milk for Cobalt Streak in that second item room. And he'll be working his way on over to the caves here. So again, this will be very, very quick. Uh, pact gives you uh, tears up, uh, replaces those two hearts that he spent with soul hearts. Or the one heart, I guess, that he spent with two soul hearts. I forgot how much that cost him. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter either way. He spent them all. Ooh, the poop. Yeah, speaking of a blue baby run. Wow, get carried, awaken. So, the poop poops, like you can see. Yeah, taking chocolate milk? The madness! It's because, uh, at this point, Cobalt can actually spam his own shots and make his own tier right here. Wow, how did he not take damage there? My god. Yeah, carried! <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, the tier rate goes up. Uh, I'm trying to think what else it was. Uh, there's something else with the pact. I think it's tier rate and... Uh, somebody will quote me. I screw that in the, the markup, like, constantly. It's either speed or range on that one. I think it's range on Pact. I think. Or, I'm sorry, I was saying tier rate. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's damage. I'm sorry, I totally screwed that up. I, I realize that now. As soon as I saw somebody say damage, like, oh shit, I said tier 8. Yeah, no, it's damage, and I'm stupid. Two tiers, one damage. Thank you. God, I'm stupid. Oh, was that a selfish night? <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry, I, I bad puns are good. I love bad puns, especially after last night. We're playing Nino Kuni on the side here, by the way. Not on the side, but that's my other game that I'm playing on cast. Yeah, bad puns are, are definitely welcomed. Bad puns are always welcomed here. Alright, Mark is two damage and one speed. Okay, that's what I screw up all the time. That's what I always screw up. For some, I gotta make a little cheat sheet for those, because I screw those two up constantly. Yeah, God, I'm stupid. <laughs> Feel free to quote me. <laughs> like, ha, ah, good times, good times. <laughs> Oh, so what does that say about your Red Wings being that we're leading you guys in the division? And haven't lost, and have beaten you. Wow, the fact that we've beaten you actually just made what you said sound really bad, Otaku. Ouch. Now, if it was best of two, it'd be over. It's the best of three. Uh, so basically, we race down through the womb, too. Uh, so whoever beats Mom's Heart first gets a point. Uh, as you can see, Cobalt Street got the uh, the first win tonight, so he is up one to nothing. Actually put him at 17-1 and one total on the year. Uh, dropping, uh, let's see, Awakened Smoke to, I believe, 16-3. and three. Uh, So, again, they are very, very, very close in the standings here. Uh, again, basically, if Cobalt Streak wins, uh, he has a bye week and a guaranteed win next week. Uh, that would actually shut him, uh, in, or uh, shut Awakened Smoke out of a chance to win the division. So, basically, if Cobalt Streak wins this one, he has got the division locked down. Because even if they they finish with the exact same record, for those wondering why this is the case, if they finish with the same record, our first tiebreaker is their head-to-head. -head, and Cobalt, if he were to win this, would obviously have the head-to-head -head as well. So basically that would be instantaneously over. <laughs> Ooh, nice Link. Very nice. Now if it was best of two, this would be over in like 15 minutes every time, so we had to make it at least best of three. Playoff time might be slightly different. We might do a uh, best of five, maybe best of seven, depending on uh, what t what part of the races we're in. But we'll we'll see when we get there. The races will go further uh, come playoff time, though. That is for sure. Uh, first round is going to go to Sheol. Second round is going to go to the Cathedral. Finals are going to go all the way to the chest. Thank you, Arth. Love you, too. I'm sorry. It's Yate. I'm sorry. That's not an R. That's an I. Wow. Anyways, it's Yate. I'm sorry. I just totally called you by the wrong name. Yeah, I totally love you. I just called you by the wrong name. <laughs> no, seriously. Thank you. Thank you one and all for coming out for these and for supporting both racers and myself for that matter in this in this uh, entire thing. Cannot say it enough, guys. Uh, there are so many of you that come out all the time that seem to be liking this. I seriously thank you all so much. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but just thank you all so much. Hope you're enjoying it as much as I do. And uh, believe me, there will be much more to come. Uh, there will be a second season with many, many more racers. We'll get info out there basically pretty soon. Uh, I'm trying to get a website set up at the moment. Once that's up and running, we'll have the info up on there. Uh, so again, I'll get info for the second season running as soon as I can. And uh, we'll let you know where to get all signed up and everything. So believe me, there will be uh, probably going to be 32 racers next season. So it's going to get a lot bigger. Uh, what games do I stream? Pretty much everything under the sun. You name it, I'll play it. Except for first-person shooters. That's usually your one fallback of stuff you won't see. So again, with uh, Awakened Smoke had a lead, and I, I emphasize the word had, because right now Cobalt Street fighting his mom fight, and again gets regular mom, might I add. So both times with regular mom. Pretty amazing. This has been, actually everybody's fought regular mom so far, so it's been three regular moms. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh, it's usually a pretty safe bet, Bailey. If I were a betting man, I, I, it, it'd be a really tough call on this one, though, because keep in mind, Awakened Smoke has, and I, by saying beaten Cobalt Streak on my stream before, he trounced him and Look at My Chicken in the same round of my monthly races. So, I mean, trounced him. Uh, it was him and uh, Slackaholicus made it to the finals by beating both Cobalt Streak and Look at My Chicken in the second round that month. So it got, it, it's been crazy before. Oh, I love playing Binding of Isaac, absolutely. I've got probably about 800 hours in, almost all of which is on stream. Wow, dueling runs. So Abel for Awakened Smoke, he's probably wishing he found his boss room instead of that. So he's going to really run and look for his mom's foot fight. Again, uh, right now Cobalt Streak on the womb one. It says utero one, but that is actually a womb floor. Uh, you can tell by the way it looks, obviously. 
But nonetheless, uh, he is on the first of two womb floors. This time he does not have an XL version. So he'll have two full floors and two boss fights to look for. Yeah, dead pickaxe. Get carried. I'm reapplying tonight, actually, Thunder. So it's all about, like, a month's worth of, uh, you know, like, you can't do it just, like, one time like this. I mean, mind you, the, this is not the only time we've been up around 1,000 viewers, but you can't just do it one time, uh, you know, and, and be like, oh, well, I deserve this, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, it's got to be, like, at least an entire month to prove to them that, you know, you're actually worthy of it. So I'm applying again uh, basically tonight, like, right after the races, so we'll see what happens. But I hope for the best, but we'll see what happens. There could be, it may get turned down again, you never know. Uh, we are racing through uh, Womb 2, so whoever beats Mom's Heart gets uh, one point down to the bottom first, and we do a best of three. Hey, what's up, Hutch? Uh, I completely lost the rest of your name as everything scrolled on me there. There it is. Uh, Hugin? Hugin. We're going to go with Hugin. Hopefully that's correct. But how you doing? Whoa, Guppy's tail. Smoke just walked right into that on accident. He's probably not going to be too mad about having it, though. A little bit late on to be uh, caring too much about uh, being cursed as such. But again, not exactly what he was looking for, and definitely not the pill Smoke was looking for either. So again, he's going to fly on through back over to the left and hope he can find that boss fight quickly. Cobalt finding a bunch of dead end rooms, and now has found his first boss fight. So again, Cobalt Street flying on ahead here. Again, in the womb, there is no item room. There is no item room. There are no item rooms. English fail good. Me. Yay. Um, ooh, and gets Teratoma for his boss fight. Anyways, there are no item rooms, there are no stores in the, uh, in the womb, or the utero in the case of where Cobalt Streak is. Uh, but he finds Teratoma here for his first boss. And again, I good at English, yay! No, um, so Awakens also found his boss fight here for, uh, Depths 2, so we know full well that that'll be his mom's foot. Are people ever happy at Dark Souls, Link? Yeah, that's impossible! Hey, what's up, bud man? How you doing? Alright, so yet again, normal version of Mom for, awa er, for Awakened Smoke, uh, Diana's Crown, actually called Pageant Boy, but we like to call it Diana's Crown, uh, for uh, Cobalt Streak, and Cobalt's going to get a Curse of Darkness here, so very unlucky in the fact that he will not be able to see his minimap. Uh, again, that's not really that huge of a deal, but on the Womb too, especially, you'd love to be able to see your minimap. Um, especially should you get some item like uh, the Treasure Map, for example, it still will not show you that minimap. Uh, that is, Curse of Darkness overrides anything of the nature. Uh, world card, doesn't matter. It'll still be Curse of Darkness. And hey, Yusugi, how you doing? Ray, how you doing tonight? Good to see ya. Yep, harder enemies, uh, different floor layouts. Um, trying to think what else. Uh, think different chance at, uh, more champion versions, or higher chance at a champion version of the boss, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but if you get the expansion version of the floor, it's just, it's a little bit tougher all in all. Whoa. Wow, really? The pentagram in a challenge room. Yeah, that, <laughs> I was good. And it's Loki, for that matter, for Cobalt. Ironic timing. So anyways, um, Cobalt was just about to completely pass over on that challenge room until he realized that was too damaged up with the pentagram in there, so he'll be taking that. My god. Yeah, I, why would you assume that that would be there? I, I would have backed out the room the same that Cobalt didn't, like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, they both got it on the same run. So what are the chances of that? By the way, speaking of things that they've both gotten on the same run, a womb loading floor here for Awakened Smoke, or womb loading screen, I should say, for Awakened Smoke. So he's hoping to get an XL floor now, if it ever finishes loading, that is. Because, my goodness, this one is hanging on him. Come on. This is going to get interesting. Uh, so if he winds up with that XL floor and he comes across his boss fights quickly, do not count him. Oh, here we go. Let's see what he gets. Will he be lucky? No, he's hoping. He's hoping and praying. Will this be an XL? Come on, XL floor. Nope. Womb one. Ouch. So he got that long of a loading screen for absolutely nothing being out of whack. That sucks. So he had to wait through all that loading time to get absolutely no gain out of it. That's tough. That's a tough break right there. So a full Womb 1 and full Womb 2 floor ahead of Awakened Smoke here. And also down to half a heart at the moment. Oof, that was close. As you can see, the Polaroid, when you have nothing but blue hearts, every time you get hit, it acts its 5 second damage shield for you. So that's why you see Smoke has zero red hearts at the moment. Again, neither do for that matter. Both are technically speaking the blue baby right now. Yeah, Bat Flash. Gotta love it. 
What's up, Bestie? How you doing? Alright, so the good news about this room for Awakened Smoke is if he clears it, he's guaranteed a soul heart from this uh, Larry uh, Larry Jr. mini-boss. And there it is. So up to a heart and a half now. Smoke's got some breathing room. Wow, sad onion for Cobalt Streak. Wow, look at that tier rate. Look at that tier rate. My god. So, again, you can basically make your own tier rate with Oh my, with Chocolate Milk. Uh, on the right, you can see Awakened Smoke goes down yet again right as Cobalt Streak moves on to his mom's heart fight. Ouch, timing on that, but that Sad Onion it pretty much sealed it right there in and of itself. Didn't matter how many more rooms he had. Look at the fire rate on Cobalt Streak right now, folks. So again, with, uh, what, six and a half hearts right now, he is on what would finish this off. Cobalt looking to stay undefeated, looking to win his division outright right here. So ladies and gentlemen, good luck to Cobalt Streak. Again, that was a painful, painful time for a death there for Awakened Smoke as well. But again, without that XL floor, might have been too little too late already. As Cobalt Streak is looking to finish this one off. My goodness. So again, already about halfway through, you can see basically getting the uh, uh, sacrificial, I almost called him Mom's Knife, uh, sacrificial dagger to do the work for him. Has plenty of hearts to take damage with, gets that Polaroid enacted, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Cobalt Streak with two really phenomenally beautiful runs here. Gets, as you see it, updates, there we go. Has himself a 2 to nothing win, 18 and 1 within matches on the year, and has just won his Shale Division. So, ladies and gents, for the first time on my stream, Awaken Smoke takes a loss in very gracious defeat as well. Very nicely done, though, Cobalt Streak. Very, very nicely done. And again, very nicely done as well, Awaken. Uh, that, that comeback the first time was nothing to scoff at, believe you me. <laughs> he, he, hands over the, he hands over the mask. There you go. <laughs> the mask with the helmet, <laughs> or with the hat. There's that tip of the cap. Ladies and gentlemen, gracious in victory and gracious in defeat. Give a round of applause to both of these guys. Seriously, that was phenomenal. And again, congratulations, Cobalt Streak. He has won his division because of the uh, bye week next week for him. Again, let me give you the uh, game fetch link. Again, go into both of